Lexington, Kentucky at the historic Red Mile. So happy to be joined by Jay Mossbarger of the Midland Anchor Farms in Ohio. Uh, it's so happy to have you here. Thank you. I appreciate being here on this beautiful day. Let's talk a little bit about Midland Anchor Farms. I was just reading up a little bit. This is a really family-oriented business that's been around. Yes, we, we started in 1967. My father started it, and my brother was there with another veterinary, Dr. Schwartz, and myself. And uh, it's been a very uh, interesting ride. Uh, it's, it's been a way of life. Yeah. Is the way it is, yeah. Absolutely, and being involved, you know, family generation after generation is always so important in this business as well. Now, you guys are in Ohio. Uh, just kind of talk us through and walk us through the last, I don't know, five years of how Ohio's really put themselves on the map. Well, you know, there's no doubt the slots coming to Ohio made such a difference. Uh, I was there before that happened, and so I know what the old times were. And it, people need to be thankful and grateful for what we do have because – it's really great right now in Ohio. I mean, there's so many great levels to race. Uh, people can come, and there's, there's three very good levels to race in. People are making money. Uh, the, the horses in Ohio now are starting to step out. Uh, we were second in a million-dollar race at Mohawk last Saturday. Uh, another horse was third, but he was running over people. The uh, Pandarosa Colt, Clever Cody, he was running over him. He should have he won in there. And it's just those kind of things are happening now with the type of mares we're getting to the type of stallions we're bringing in the state. Yeah, the state of Ohio obviously you know, has those three levels, the Sire Stakes, the Buckeye Stallion Series, and the Fair Circuit. Uh, and then you had mentioned, you know, they're really putting themselves on the map as a whole nationwide in the Grand Circuit. And I was talking with Jeff Fountain and a few other people like last week and this week. It's so great to see horses from all sorts of jurisdictions come down to Lexington, Kentucky, and face other horses because it really does make for great racing. Oh, I've always wanted the states to all be more equal and make it more of a competition amongst the states as far as being on an equal level. And it's coming to that more and more with Kentucky coming back like they have. And uh, Pennsylvania's always strong. New York's always strong. New, uh, New Jersey's always strong. And now it's kind of a level playing field before long of, of all these states being able to compete on the same level. Yeah, like you had mentioned, Clever Cody was in the Metro. Uh, Tennessee Tom was in the Mohawk Million. By the Missile won the Little Brown Jug last year. So they're really, you know, a, a variety of horses that could being able to compete. Yeah, and, and they're all by different sires. They're yes. Women. Yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Midland Acres. Tell me a few of the studs that you guys have in, in the year you've had. Uh, we, we were very fortunate this year. I always feel uh, gratitude to the business when uh, we had four horses booked full and closed. Uh, that was ready for money and long time. Uh, those two trotters were both booked full and closed. And the two new horses.